Hello everyone. Today is 25. What day is today, Lucas? Christmas Day and we're going to Maine. Got my uh, food here in case I can't eat anything at that place. We're going to go to my dad's friend's house in Maine. It's the long drive, like one hour and 42. Hour and half, yeah. yeah, one hour and 42 minutes and he looks very excited. And Lucas too, he has his nervous. own food. You'll be fine. And my mom, she stays home. She's gonna make spring rolls for everyone later for dinner. Hello, this is me back. So it's raining outside as you can see, this is my car. And um, yeah, it's kind of icy today. I heard like the road is very slippery. I'm heading to the car. Alright. And Lucas Hello. and my dad sitting on the back. So we're gonna add some gas first to the car before we head to Maine. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Alright, on the screen you can now see the route that we will be taking from Everett Crossing, New Hampshire in the middle going up to Maine, Eastman Road. There will be signs that you will see later which say black ice. Black ice is not actually black, it's transparent. It's just in regards to being transparent and being able to look through it and see the pavement which is black most of the time. Maine is the most northeastern state of the United States and it has a population of about 1.3 million which is really really small. In comparison that's about one tenth about what Massachusetts population is. Alright guys we are now heading up towards New Hampshire. It's hard to get the camera to focus on the street because it focuses the wipers because it's very rainy and wet out here and we're actually going to be delayed by about half an hour getting there because there's an accident it's colder up in Maine so it's very icy and slippery as you can see people on the other side had to follow the snow plow because Not snow plow. it was it was a snow plow but they were putting salt or sand onto the road because it is very slippery still can't see much sorry about that but we're getting there slow and steady yeah, here's my very focused on the road yes. trying to stay straight truck that went off the road another three four five car crash wow Jesus people exchanging insurance details wow 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 this is the car madness another car there steady. I hate 
ahead. More police cars. Do you see all blinking? There's a car that has smoke coming from it. Somebody, somebody hit the side wall and went off. Oh dear. But let's keep watching because there's another one coming up. Oh, excuse me. Not another one. There's about five cars that are up ahead too. I have never seen anything like this before. Have you guys? One, two, three, four, five car crash here. Another one. Somebody's speeding up. Looks like he might hit the car as well. Oh my goodness. This must be a very busy day for police officers that have to work today and not stay with their families. We're now in New Hampshire, by the way. As we are approaching the northern part of New Hampshire, getting closer to Maine, we can start seeing snow on the side. And the road is still icy and there's a lot of traffic here. And Good luck, everyone. Flares. Police are putting flares on the ground to signal for people that there's danger ahead. And two cars hit each other and went down the road. As usual, we're getting closer to Maine now. See you there. Sheriff. So no police here. They've got a sheriff here. And a fire truck blocking the road. The bridge ahead that you can see here is the border between New Hampshire and Maine. We're gonna cross it and be in the state of Maine. And on the right side coming up are even more car crashes in the bridge that's gonna lead us into Maine. Sorry guys, it still does not focus. Camera still focus on the windshield because that's wet. So this is the piece piece. Piscata River, River Bridge. Bridge. It sounds like some Native American name. State line, Maine. State line, Maine, right there. Vacation, Vacation land. land. You can see some mountains coming up. It's more nature here than there is in Massachusetts. And a very severe traffic jam on the other side that will be taken back later today you'll be with us guys my wanted me to film this sign she's claiming this is the real border of maine which is which it is not it is. because i have looked it up on a map and the border is on the bridge that's the actual state line Anyway, film the sign. My wanted to, you to see it. Yes, I do. Yes. And you guys can see a lot of snow on the side. A little bit. Mm. My dad's friend said that as soon as we enter Mean, we can start driving normally. E the cars on the left side are faster, yes. But people here are still blinking, got, it, got their hazards on. Cautious. Cautious. We're now passing a toll station in Maine. The car's on the right. We're gonna pay in cash. We're not gonna pay in cash. They will send us a bill by taking a picture of a license plate, or we have to go online and pay for it there, like we have to in New Hampshire. This one was four dollars though. The other ones are usually usually two, so the road should be better, huh? Still about fifty minutes to go. Fifty-three minutes to go. Fifty-three minutes to go. Do you know how many kilometers? Forty-three miles in kilometers. Yes. About sixty. Sixty kilometers. Sixty kilometers. Yep. Which on the German highway would take you about I don't know, twenty minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> but equal like from where to where? Like from your 
place, like from the place where you live in Germany? That would be from where I live to Cologne. Oh. Cologne. That's about 60 kilometers, yep. 60 kilometers. Cool. I would not travel there because... Why? There's nothing I want to do there. I don't want to be there. <laughs> we got this new Christmas tree with a new car scent up here. The scent used to be pretty bad in the beginning, but now it's getting okay. It doesn't, it doesn't smell, smell like, like a new car, no. It smells like a bathroom. Like, bathroom. Like a uh, like bathroom in a hotel with that smell. So the bathroom, shampoo. freshener. Yeah. yeah. You see a lot of snow on the side. More snow. More snow. No more traffic accidents, so maybe my dad's friend was right. We're going up a bit faster now than in New Hampshire, which is good. The roads are not as icy as they were back in New Hampshire, and we were wondering why. We thought it probably has to do something with the salt. Maybe they're using more salt here. Yeah, See? This it's just watery. Yeah, and this day is very close to the ocean, so maybe. We're probably close to the ocean, yep. Maybe the wind is warmer, possibly. A lonely house in the middle of nowhere covered with snow. Mai's speeding up now. She can't wait to get there. I need to go to the bathroom. We all have to go to the bathroom. So, they want to see more of America. That's what my sense I'm getting from the America. Yeah. Snow, pretty. Snow, a big field full of snow. And actually, green trees here. Wow. Not only dead trees, but you got pine trees. They are pine trees. They live in winter. Now, yep. But it melts as soon as it touches the windshield. White Christmas. White Christmas in Maine. What a Germany boy. Snow blows coming with salt and sand, I believe. They're blinking in different directions, which looks kind of funny. Guys, as you can see, we're now heading into downtown Portland. That's our exit. It's close to where we're going. And as we're approaching, the snow is getting thicker and thicker. And there's another toll station coming up. Which is blinking in the video, but in reality, it does not blink. And they took a quick picture of our license but Cute small houses. What's that here? Very long train here. Gas. Oil in it. That's some gas storage here. Guys, it's transporting that. Or two. Other oh, stuff. <laughs> More and more snow here. Very pretty, right? They do have a salt mountain here as well. Boston. It's snowing outside. Snowing going on in 
crazy wires on top of us. Everybody's staying in their houses. There's one crazy woman outside running in the snow on Christmas Day. Can you believe it? Very snowy here. Church right there. A roof full of snow. Horses. They must be green. They've got blankets on top of them. This is the house we're going to. And there's a snowman. And there's a guy right here. <laughs> hey guys, we are back. We just finished our lunch at my dad's friend's house. <laughs> bye bye. So we are yeah. going back to Boston. Okay. There's a lot of snow here. It's still snowing. Heading down. Heading down, be careful. Okay. It's still snowing. All right, guys, that's it. We're done with lunch. Heading back to Everett. That's the house. It's really large. Snowman coming up on the left. Beer, deer, and a snowman that has fallen down. It's kind of hard to film now with this. Pretty. Slopes and hills. And white. Running on the left light. side. Take a slight left turn onto Ocean House Road. Yes, people walking on the road on Christmas Day. Are they walking to their neighbors? We don't know. The board. The board. Yep. It is the port again as we're leaving behind this fence. But there's nobody working today. All the cranes are on standby. Take a slight right turn onto Lark Street. We got my driving. At the stop sign, turn right onto commercials. What? Turn right? I don't understand. Yeah, let's go straight then. We got a good and reliable driver here with turn us. Right onto Maple Street. She's gonna make us right return Street. safely. Yes. But we might see more car accidents when we get back on the highway into New Hampshire. The owner of the house told me the coffee is gonna knock me out, but I think I'm used to caffeine, so I'm good. Not knocked out. But the coffee was good? It was good. Maybe you should buy something like that. A slow coffee drip espresso. Yeah, then you do it overnight. <laughs> so it drips slowly into the cup instead of being pushed down there with pressure. It's just gravity doing its work. These buildings are very close to the road. As soon as you step out the door, you're on the road. And you're at the port. Portland port. It's a port city. Not as big as the ports in Boston, though. Everything is much smaller here. 
we're approaching those cranes again that we just passed by over the bridge. Some random building looks like a city hall or something. And now we're in the middle of the port with another Massachusetts license plate in front of us. He's probably going the same direction we are. Follow the G. Brockton, Massachusetts. You can't see them on a the camera. There's blinking lights here, which for some reason you can't see on the camera, but we can see. There's a small regional airport here, I assume. Can't see them on the camera with blinking lights. Right here. Now you can see them. There's a small lake on our right side. Or a river. It is frozen, but you shouldn't you should not step on there. Don't do it kids. There's a police car that just sped by us okay. on our left side. Probably got gonna see a crash ahead again. They're starting again. Stay tuned. Snow clothes are back. Heading into the other direction. It's always like you can the still other direction. see the police car. And there is a trap. Big accident. On the right side this time. Mercedes and a BMW crashed. Sad, sad, sad day. Sad day for German cars. Heading back into New Hampshire. This bridge is the border. I will see about, we'll see that it is. As I said, she was wrong. Wrong on the way here. Yep. They got some blinking light on the bridge. Possibly because of the bad sight and helicopters and airplanes to warn them that there's a bridge up ahead. It's the Catawba River Bridge. It's Catawba River Bridge. State line, New Hampshire. There, who was right? Lucas was right, of course. Keep left on I-95 South. New Hampshire. Bye. Hello. Hi. We are driving back to Boston. Storm. That's new. You can see that on the weather app. We're gonna follow up with more if the weather conditions deteriorate. Alright, guys, we're back in Massachusetts. Back to a little bit warmer weather. Still about half an hour to go, and then we're back. It seems like we're all kind of relieved to go back. <laughs> Yes. Boston sign up ahead, Worcester, getting closer. It took forever this morning to get here. I mean to get to me because of the slippery icy road. But yep. it seems like everything everything got fixed, so it's gonna take quicker. It's not slippery anymore. Oh, no. We took about an hour more get there than going back right now so fingers crossed so how do you think about our trip today Lucas glad that my mom prepared some food for me to eat at the place it got most of the food there for the man to drink uh, while eating like snacks yeah it was a nice house though very big house in Maine yeah they have very nice view but I'm happy to be going back now but I'm happy that my dad Thumbs up. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Almost back in Everett, guys. It's getting really foggy here. We cannot see far. Still got this driver here. This pretty lady. Still driving the what trusty driver? Trusty driver. A lot of hotels here on the left side. Probably booked up now because it's Christmas. All right, guys, we just got back home. We had the fun trip today. A lot of driving for me. And um, I really had to go do the marathon again. <laughs> All right, so see you guys. See you in the next video. Bye. See you.